Jose, let's break in the myth. Can you charge a lithium battery with a regular low current high voltage charger? The answer is yes, you can. 2017 Nissan Rogue Hybrid. The battery is completely depleted because the vehicle cut off and consumed the battery. This battery is actually 160 volt when it's supposed to be over 210. The reason for this video is how do we charge a lithium hybrid battery? What charger do I need and how do I do it? Unfortunately, if the hybrid battery gets depleted in your hybrid car, you're gonna have to take it out and charge it manually. Why? Well, simple. You don't have access to the high voltage system. And then because of that, we have to open the battery, yes or yes. So what happened to this car is most for sure that the input shaft goes bad, the vehicle kept driving an electric motor and completely depleted the high voltage battery. So after the transmission is fixed, we need to make sure to bring back the high voltage battery to its nominal energy, which in this case, 3.7 volts per cell. Let's open up and find out. Apparently there's no high voltage over here yet, but there's going to be high voltage, so we need to take the necessary precautions. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the battery. With much careful, I'm going to open up completely the battery. Here it is. Now we have fully access to the high voltage system, so we gotta be very careful. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see how much power do I have right here. I'm going to put on my gloves. Class zero, by the way. The service plug is completely off, but I'm using a cat for this case. One, two, three, and four cell stacks. Let's see how much power each one of the cell stacks has. 42, 42, 42 and 42 volts, which means that it's completely depleted. But wait a minute, this is a lithium battery. How in the world am I gonna charge it? And which machine I have to use? You have many options. You can always completely disassemble the battery blocks and charge the cells individually using, for example, something like this one. This is a normal RC charger with four channel that is able to charge nickel hydride, nickel cadmium, uh, lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate, but only four channels. And you have a bunch of individual cells, so you need a lot of this. Second option. RC charger. You could charge this with a little more aggressively. Very similar to this one. The only difference is two channels. And there is an alternative way that you can use, which is charging the battery collectively. What? Jose, what are you saying? Which means that I'm going to connect the battery to a high voltage charger, which in this case, I'm going to use this low current charger. Now, which charger I need to use? Well, let me get my numbers. If this is a 210 battery, I need to use a charger that it's able to provide me above 210 volts, which in this case, my low current high voltage charger can work properly. So I have over here many options. This one is giving me 180 volts at 350 milliamps. This one is not gonna work. I need more power. Let's check this other this one. This one is capable to give me 250 volts at 350 milliamps. Probably this one is the perfect charger that I need, but Will it work? Let's hook it up in the battery and we'll see. So the circuit is completely open. The service block is open. There is no high voltage right here in the output. I already measured. There's no any residual voltage, nothing. The battery management system, the junction box, all this bunch of cables are not letting me to connect here to the battery unless I connect, for example, directly to the main output. Let me show you. I'm able to open the main positive outlet, but I need to find now the main negative. So let me follow the circuit. The main positive, we have a connection negative to positive, then positive to negative, but this one is the bridge to the service plug grip that comes back right here to the positive, negative, positive, and negative. Oh, here it is. This is the main negative out there, but I don't have access to this one unless I disassemble all this bunch of things. So it's gonna be a little complicated for me to be connecting right here in the modules. Mm, I don't wanna be touching cables, anything that has to be closest to this. So here what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this back. There it is, quite safe. I believe it's gonna be way easier for me to take out the high voltage battery management system and connect directly to the battery junction box. Let me open it up and I'll show you. Now come and check. Let's take a look right here in the battery junction box. We have fully access to the main positive and the main negative where I can very easily connect my positive and negative pole directly into the junction box outlet. And here they are, my positive and my negative. Let me just connect them. So this is the first that I'm going to connect main positive, just put it right here in the main position, locked up, let me place the main negative to the main negative outlet, there it is. So as you can see, I am fully connected to the high voltage battery, but I need to set up the charger now. I'm gonna use this main connector, hook it up right here. We also need power and start the charge. At the moment, it's giving me 248 volts, which is exactly what I need. But I have one problem, I don't see any current flowing right here. Well, easy, it's because the circuit is completely open. In order for me to charge the battery, I need to close the circuit in the service plug grip. All right, so the circuit is closed. Let's see how much power we have in the battery. Let's see, 
main positive and main negative, there it is. 168 volts, which means now I'm able to start the charger and we will see most for sure current flow. There it is. We are injecting 250 volts at a very tiny little current in pulses. Obviously, this is a process that has to be done by a professional trained technician because remember with this, you're dealing with life threatening high voltage. So what I'll be doing in the next few hours, I'm going to be monitoring how much power we're injecting here in the battery until we reach at least 210 volts. Can these batteries be overcharged? The answer is yes. So you gotta be very careful because if you overcharge, you can also get diagnostic trouble code for overcharging because the vehicle is not going to start. Always work in between the vehicle's parameters. So the main question is, can you charge a lithium battery collectively? The answer is yes. Apply a low current charger and it should be charging with absolutely no problem. Once this reaches 210 volts, this battery is ready to install the vehicle and good to go. Like and subscribe our channel. That's the only way that you can help us provide more amazing information about hybrid electric vehicles. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.